Wilkinson. And today I have a very special guest, just Sanetta, to talk to everyone about managing and caring for fine hair. Thank you, Sanetta, for coming. Thank you for having me. So before we get into the regimen, some things that people need to keep in mind when managing for uh, managing fine hair, why did you decide to go natural? Well, I've been natural for seven years now. Um, <laughs> I did the big chop in 2005 and I wore dreadlocks for six years. And I did that because my hair is so fine until the relaxers was just becoming too strong for my hair. <laughs> so my, my hair was breaking off and it was just, my hair is too weak to handle the relaxers anymore as I've gotten older. So I just did big chop and just let my hair, um, I twisted it at first. And then okay. I was like, mm, this is cute. I want this to be more permanent. So I went ahead and locked it okay. for, for six years. Okay, so now you have fine hair, and that does bring up some a, another dynamic that I dynamic that I didn't even think about having fine hair with dreadlocks as opposed to having fine hair with um, with your afro or with your hair loose. So, just really quick, how has that? What what kind of things have you have you noticed about your fine hair um, when you compare it to when it was dreadlocked as to now? Well, the difference is with my fine hair, because usually when I tell people my hair is fine, mm -hmm. they assume that it's thin. Okay. And so I don't have thin hair. I have a lot of hair on my head. Okay. It's just that each individual strand is super fine. Okay, got you. So it, it appears to look thick sometimes. Oh. It can. Okay. So my dreadlocks, my hair, was it, it was full. It looked full. It looked thick. Nobody knew my hair was fine. And so, but when I, now that it's loose, it's more apparent. Okay. That's the difference. Okay. So what kind of challenges, if you will, have you experienced with your natural hair with it being fine? Even though you do have a lot of hair on, on your head and I've watched your other videos when you do your shingling methods and it really does look very thick. What kind of um, things do you do for moisture, et cetera, et cetera? So the main challenge is what styles I'm going to wear. So because it's fine, I can't wear like twist styles, or at least I haven't mastered that yet. Okay. Um, I'm working on it getting better, but the wash and go helps my hair look thicker because it shrinks down from so far, and so it looks denser. But as far as um, keeping it moisturized, um, I just use my own concoction. You know, I, I my hair loves conditioner. It loves trust and make conditioner to be more specific and so i keep my i keep that in my hair i use it for my co-washes i use it for my dc i use it for my leave-in with a couple of other things but the main thing for my hair is just to keep it moist that's the biggest challenge and that's the tresemme in the the white bottle tresemme naturals right in the white bottle okay thank you for showing that because i know that that has become very very popular especially within the group that uh, you and I belong to within Facebook. So do you have to uh, worry about buildup or how you cleanse your hair? If you could go into a little bit about that. Yes. Um, so that's another challenge with my hair being so fine. It will build up, product build up really, really easy. And so that's why this is the silicone free. So Chester may have so many different ones. And okay. so this one specifically said silicone free. Okay. And so, because, and I wash my hair daily. Every day. Every day. Okay. And if I don't, I can tell. I don't know if anybody else can tell, but I can see build up on my hair. It's like uh, um, product. And we talked about this, you and I, about low porosity, high porosity. My hair appears to be high porosity, which it should be absorbing, but it tends to, because it's so fine, product appears to sit on my hair. It's not really sitting on my hair, but it does, my hair is so fine, it can't carry the product. So I gotcha. wash it off every day and start all over because I like that fresh look. Okay. And now, do you use shampoo at all? Re rarely. Rarely. Okay. So you you co-wash every day. And so everybody who doesn't know necessarily what co-wash means, that just means that you wash your hair or you use a cleansing method with a conditioner every right. day. Every day. Um, and I, I might drag it out for two or three days being lazy, but typically okay. every day. Okay. Now, I noticed, and I... I touched on this uh, a few minutes ago. You uh, frequently wear shing the you do the shingling method. Mm -hmm. 
if you could just talk about the shingling method, because yours is like one of the best that I've seen uh, when it comes to the YouTube uh, vloggers. If you could just go into what shingling is right quick. Um, so shingling, I just refer to it as washing, but I don't know the difference. Okay. <laughs> but, um, so I just, I wish, hmm, I have a, I have a video that I could, I don't know how to talk about it without showing you. Okay. But basically I just take my hair in sections mm -hmm. and I use, um, my favorite Tresemme and Eco Style Gel. Okay. I don't have them here, but everybody pretty much knows what that is and I use them on the green top and just. Basically, shingle it through my hair. Okay. With each section. And actually, you do have a video. So what we will do is embed a link within this video so that you all can just click on that and see her shingling method because it really is a good, good way to watch to where your washing goes. So you have um, as a part of your hair care maintenance because you were talking about moisturizing fine hair it's very important you have a leave-in recipe that you frequently use for your hair so can you go into that and show our viewers what those um, what that consists of so that they can try those um, that have the fine hair they can try it at home yep okay so I actually once again use this for my leave -in. okay and I have a recipe for my deep conditioner that is the exact same recipe but the only thing different is for my um, deep conditioner I don't I use honey okay for the leave in I don't I don't leave honey in my hair gotcha so if you want me to demonstrate you want me to put it together real quick yes we would love for that to happen that's what we do here do it yourself mixes <laughs> so here's my little favorite container that I use right? okay okay and I don't measure anything so and I make it fresh so I try to wear you make enough and you put it in the refrigerator gotcha. and I learned with my hair it doesn't work the same after I put it in the refrigerator as it did when it was when I freshly made it. Right. I why, so I just make enough that I'm going to use at that moment. Okay. Right. So I use about that much for my leave in. That's about two seconds y'all. That's how we measure it on the Quaff Cafe anyway. Okay, <laughs> we measure good. stuff in seconds so <laughs> that'd be helpful. And my favorite oil is castor oil. It just, my hair loves it. And I wish I knew why or can explain why or what it does, but my hair responds very well. And I just, I'm country and I just put a little drizzle in there. Hello. Drizzle. Drizzle. That's all, that's what we do. That's what we and do. And then of course, I like to always use the carrier oil, which I prefer grapeseed over jojoba. Okay. It's totally your preference and I'm running out. But this is just grapeseed oil, 100%, and I got this from um, Whole Foods. Okay. And I just use drops of it, just a little, and I'm just going to use the rest because I'm out. So my grapeseed oil. And that's just the carrier oil to help carry those properties into my hair shaft. Right. And then my beloved aloe vera juice. Very, very moisturizing. It has a lot of... Um, amino acid, mm -hmm. vitamins, minerals, and this is a really good moisturizing agent. And I mean, it might be easier to use some, just a couple caps. So if I was going to do capsules, I would use two. Okay. Just two capsules of that aloe vera juice. So since I just made this up, this is what I'm going to use when I wash my hair in the morning. I'm not going to refrigerate this. I'll just okay. this out. And then I just stir that up. I go ahead and And it's a nice consistency, like a, almost like a yogurt. Okay. Almost the consistency of a yogurt. I put that in on freshly washed hair. And this just acts as my moisturizer slash leave in. Okay, so you put this on your hair every day. Every single day after I wash it. After you wash it. So this mix the will be in the descriptors. It will also be on the Quaff Cafe's page and as well as your Facebook page. Um, and so this is used every day as you're leaving. And then you said for your deep conditioner, you add honey. Yep. So this is like a leave-in slash moisturizer. And I, I refer to it as my deep leave-in. Okay. And, and if I wanted to make this a deep conditioner 
what I would do, the same exact thing, but I would add real raw honey. Okay. A couple of swirls of that. And then I would put it on my freshly washed hair and maybe get under the dryer or put a plastic cap on and just walk around the house for a couple of hours. Okay. And just that'll be a DC. And what honey does for me, it's a humectant, but what it does for my hair is gives my hair a shine like nothing else. I totally agree. I love honey, and I also love castor oil. I my hair has to have castor oil every day, so I definitely feel you on those two products. So all of the information that uh, Justinetta has talked about today will be located in the descriptor box, and it will also be on our Facebook page for the Quaff Cafe and for your uh, Facebook page. If you could talk a little bit about that, Sonetta. So on Facebook, um, I go by Cy Natural. Okay. So my name is Sonetta, so I just go by Cy Natural. But the link is Facebook.com slash Natural Hair OMG. Okay. And then um, my YouTube channel is just Sonetta. It's just Sonetta. So all of that information will be there. Um, if you have any questions about this episode or any previous episodes of the Quaff Cafe, please feel free to contact us at quaffcafe at gmail.com. We are also located on Facebook, Quaff Cafe, and on YouTube. Thank you so much, Justinetta, for joining us on this episode. I'm so delighted to finally meet you, uh, I guess, cyber in person. I don't know. <laughs> Clearly, we've talked. So, uh, so thank you for joining us, and we will see you all later. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.